Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. Today we're taking a look at the silver and space gray iPhone 10. Now uh, here right off the bat to get this over with, these are the boxes and they look pretty identical. It's just that one box has a different wallpaper than the other. So this one right here is the silver. This one right here is the space gray and the Apple logos here are tinted accordingly to the colors as well as the sides right here. There is a little bit of chrome here and then a little bit of blacked out chrome there so that you guys can tell the difference. Aside from that, uh, the iPhone logo is also colored and uh, that's it for the box. Nothing very special. Now, of course, the special thing here is the phones themselves, which here you can see how different they look whenever uh, they're shining light in different directions. Of course, this is very different to the iPhone 7. It's just like the iPhone 8 where it reflects a lot of light and uh, attracts more fingerprints than the aluminum used in the iPhone 7. So right there, it could be something that you don't like and might choose not to go for this phone. But uh, right there is where you can see the colors, which are essentially a white color and a black color. I mean, depending on how you look at it, uh, it's gonna look a little bit more dull and uh, less vibrant when the light is shining on it. So for example, here with the space gray, when I put it right there, you can kind of see it's dulled down a bit and you can see some haziness or cloudiness in the color. And that's just what gives it that look. And if I turn it to one side, you can see that it looks almost black because of the reflection. Same thing with the white here. When I place it right at the right angle, you can see it's a little bit cloudy and it doesn't look full on white like the box that we have here. You can see the difference there between white and this silver off-white color. And uh, yeah, that's where you can see that. But if you shine it in the right direction, it almost looks like it's a full on white phone, which uh, it really isn't. And it's also not really a silver phone. All right, so taking a closer look at the colors here, you can see that each color has corresponding accents. So on the silver one here, you can see all these chrome accents around the camera, around the sides of the phone, also the Apple logo and the iPhone logo. And then of course, all the ports and the speakers and everything are colored so that it all matches. And on the space gray one, everything is blacked out and is far less reflective than uh, the chrome here on the silver phone. You can see there, kind of looks like the finish on a Mac Pro and it looks really good. It's just a little bit less reflective. It looks a little bit more expensive as well, just that edge. And uh, of course, all the ports here are also matched to that black color. So it all looks seamless and uh, it looks really good. Of course, around the camera, the Apple logo is blacked out as well as the iPhone logo right there. So right there, you can see both of them. I think that overall, the back of this one looks better just because I like how the cameras kind of integrate into the back and they're less noticeable. I'm not a big fan of how much the cameras pop on this one. And uh, yeah, you can see those there for yourselves. Now, one thing I do wanna do here is put some cases on these just so you guys can see how they look with the cases and uh, if the colors change or anything. So here I have a couple cases, different materials and everything. So uh, here's a see-through case real quick so you can see how that looks right there. And uh, you, know, you can still see all of the phone with this and it just kind of uh, dulls the color down a little bit because of the material of the case. So I definitely think that cases like this are gonna look better with the silver. I just don't like the way it makes the black look. And then of course we got full on covered cases that cover pretty much all of the phone except some of the things that are gonna be showing. So here you can see the camera through this case and a little bit of the black phone at the bottom, you can see all the ports and everything that are blacked out. And then on the front, all you see is the black screen, which is the same when we put it on the silver phone. So you're gonna see only a black screen. Whoops. So you're only gonna see the black screen here, which is good. So you get rid of those chrome accents on the silver. And then on the back, you're gonna have some accents here that look pretty good. And as well as in the bottom. So that's the color that's gonna be showing on these phones. So depending on that, you know, you might choose a phone based on that. There's a little thing I do want to add here and that goes with smudges. So I'm just going to rub my fingers like crazy all over the phone here. Now uh, you might've seen they were clean just because I kept wiping them off between shots. But uh, here, let's go ahead and show you the fingerprints and smudges that are going to end up building up if you don't put a protector or a case on this. And uh, let's see here from an angle. I'll try to show you guys it's more noticeable in real life it's really hard to get this to show any of the fingerprints but there we go you can see all the fingerprints there all the smudges and uh let me put this phone here too 
and you can kind of see them. Definitely not as noticeable as on the black phone, just because um, they reflect a little bit better on this phone, so you won't notice them that much. So yeah, that's something to note. If you're not a big fan of smudges, maybe go with the white phone. It's just far less noticeable. Like here, looking at them in person, I can totally tell that the black one has a ton of smudges. And then on the white one, all I can see are some smudging around the uh, Apple logo, which is usually what tends to show the most smudging. So yeah, that's one of those points to keep in mind. Now I do wanna try it with this case on real quick, just so you can see a case that has a, a translucent back as well as like maybe some color on the side. So you can see that. And uh, you can see there with the black. Any case with the black phone is uh, gonna look a little bit odd because it's kind of getting rid of the nice color that the black has. Instead, it's gonna pop more with the white phone. So you can see right there, I feel like this case overall looks better on this phone just because you can see the actual phone more. Instead with this, it kind of dulls it out and you can't really see the whole design of the back just because the dark color is so dull. But uh, yeah, that's something to note with the cases. And uh, now I'm gonna show you some B-roll of the phones outside and in different places so you guys can see how they look under different lighting conditions and not just here with studio lighting. And uh, yeah, you can see there for yourselves, this is mostly a video to show you guys how the phones look. I mean, at the end of the day, what I say doesn't really matter as far as um, you know making your decision. Just what you guys like, just go with that and you're gonna really enjoy the devices now, of course, one of the complaints that I've had every year is that Apple releases the white fronts and the white fronts have those borders around it. That complaint is now finally gone and we only have black fronts. So the fronts don't matter anymore. You can choose based on the accents and the colors in the back. Now, of course, this is a first world problem, but I mean, you're gonna end up paying so much money for these phones. You wanna make sure that you get the right color. With that said guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, you can also reach out to me on Twitter at RMRDNL or at Dark Gadgets and I'll get back to you there. But uh, yeah guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.